left to right, you have a tall bottle that's actually a vinegar bottle. And next to that is a very early pickle bottle. Plain. And the reason that your Heinz bottles are, are plain and usually clear was that they wanted to demonstrate to the public that this was a green pickle or that this was red ketchup. They didn't want it, the color uh, covered up by some brown bottle or something. That was their reasoning. Uh, next to the pickle bottle is another ketchup type bottle and then you have a, a chutney bottle that is centered that looks like the Heinz 57 uh, emblem as you see a keystone and there's two varieties there they're both about the same age 70s 80s um, one has the pewter cap and the other has just a plain top and then adjacent to that going to the right again there are three bottles lined up that have their original paper labels on them and um, they're survivors in the back you see a large clear bottle which was a store bottle for pickles it would be sitting on the on the counter or maybe um, you could purchase a whole large jar that's one of the largest we've seen it's about 12 inches tall and we have one of the early Heinz Foods advertising signs as a backdrop and then coming forward from there you see a barrel sitting on top of a, a glass pedestal those were um, for in, in stores that contain vinegar you can see the embossing of the Heinz pickle up above and their and their keystone in the middle of it and the base is also embossed with Heinz advertising coming forward you see crockery containers. There's an apple butter container and then we have two vinegar jugs. The wooden con pail container with its original label is a strawberry preserves container and uh, it's unusual to run into the, the wooden pails because they usually self-destruct. Just to the left of the wooden pail is another crockery container with its original label and that one is uh, uh, preserved strawberries on that label and then there's an apple butter crockery in the back and then many of their ads that they put out in the 1880s through the 1890s are trade cards and you can see there's a picture of one of these early pickle bottles in the trade card and then there's a picture of a um, lady actually packing into a crockery container then we're coming forward and you see a blue and white crockery piece and that was actually one of their mustard jars from their English plant and it says London England on it as, as well as this country then coming forward of that, there's uh, two trade cards that are pickles that show pictures on them. And these were given out and they're, they're kind of sought after now. The card that we're looking at now not only was a trade card, but it depicted many of their food products. And you can see uh, what the food products were went into the various uh, bottles that we have already looked at. You can see there's pickles in there and there's ketchup and, and the like. This frame shows many of the giveaways that Heinz used to promote their, their products. Pickles were still their number one product and the number two product being ketchup. But there's a charm bracelet up there with little charm pickles on it that you can see in there and the little um, tags. Uh, they had watch fobs they gave out and, and other little charms. And in the foreground, there's one of those little charm uh, pickles that has an American flag on it. And this little thing that looks like a T is actually a tool to pry the lid off of uh, some of the bottles. Starting from left to right, you see a very large container, which was an apple butter container. 
uh, holds about two gallons. These large crocs are unusual to uh, find with their labels on them. And adjacent to it is one of the trade cards showing it. And then in the background, you see a, another fairly large trade card with ketchup on it, and a, then a crock that was mincemeat, and then another trade card for another one of their products. And in the background, kind of hard to see, but is a giant store ketchup bottle. It's about two feet tall, and they have been seen painted red and with a hot, big Heinz ketchup label on it and a pewter lid. But most of the time when you see one, they're nice and clean like that one. Coming to the left, you see in the foreground a little bean pot with a lid on it. They sold baked beans too. And it's embossed Heinz on the bottom. And then you see another crock that is an open crock. Uh, I guess they put salted uh, things in, in that, but it has a very nice embossing. In the background behind that, you can buy a little sign, Heinz Pickles, 10 cents. And the jar that's back of it is a store jar that would have sat on the, on the counter right next to the cash register and uh, had pickles in it.